Alright, so the anime we're going to talk about today. I'm going to go down a list of things we have here for this anime. So we have people with special powers. Check. We have violence. Check. We have edgy as fuck. Check. A comic got killed season two. Just please do you believe I'm a sora e to demo kazasu. Say no more tears that work again. Alright, so what is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here bringing you another anime first impressions video. And today we have. Taboo, tattoo, taboo, tattoo. Uh, I just, it's, it's so it's so chantable. The name is chantable. But uh, what is up? So yeah, this show is interesting. I haven't been this torn on a show in a while. Uh, but yeah, Tattoo Taboo is a pretty interesting show. It follows the story of a guy named Saigi, uh, or Seigi, however you want to say that. People have been kicking my ass on pronunciation, so I'm, I'm definitely not Japanese, but whatever. <laughs> but uh but yeah and um it follows his story and basically what happens is he saves a homeless dude from a bunch of dudes who are beating him up homeless dude gives him this uh this tattoo and uh basically it turns his life upside down he ends up meeting another chick who pulls him into this kind of like spy underworld type of situation involving these tattoos involving the American government and the kingdom and now his life is completely different yep so this sounds like a lot of different anime yeah I'm, I'm getting some Charlotte here some Akami got killed with the content some darker than black a little bit there's a lot going on here uh, but it's actually kind of interesting but the part I get torn on is this like there's two anime fans inside of me now there is the young anime fan, you know he's like you know he's like the uber anime fan. He's about sixteen ish, you know. Says so the idea of tits, blood, explosions, and violence and fights. That, that's all he really needs. Like he doesn't need some encompassing story. That's all he needs. He's American. He's hype. He loves that. Then there's the otaku side of me. Like the old, the older otaku. He's more seasoned. He's seen a lot more anime. And, I mean, while he likes all that kind of stuff, that's not all he needs for an anime to be interesting. And that's where I am torn. First three episodes, that's kind of what we get. Uh, we do get some pretty interesting story, though. You know, I kind of want to see the story behind the tattoos, who made them, you know, what's going on with that. Uh, also, the whole thing between America and the kingdom which is a, a fictional place that is on the map, you know. And um, kind of want to see the dynamic going on there. As well as kind of want to learn about the characters too, you know, in a way. But yeah, this show is interesting. If you're an older anime fan who needs some more sophisticated taste, this is definitely a drop for you. Now, if you are a younger anime fan, or this is just your cup of tea, like me... This is going to probably be either a watch or a follow for you. Personally, I'm going to give it a follow. Alright, so I will follow this show. Uh, I'm not going to invest too much time in it because I feel like it's going to turn crap very soon. So I'm going to give it a follow as my official rating in this impression. But uh, that's about it for this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, people, keep it real. And look out for my next impression. Mob Psycho 100.